Let's bring in Pat Lafrida. He is Pat Lafrida Meat Purveyors, the owner and CEO. It's good to have you here. And you've got something so everybody who's a carnivore, those of us who enjoy eating meat and those kinds of proteins, uh, a new partnership with Jay Cutler. Tell us about this. Yes. Um, during the, the pandemic, actually long before the pandemic, Jay and I were talking about doing um, something together and I was going to consult for a retail butcher shop that he will open in Nashville. Um, and the pandemic put that on hold for a bit, but we began to talk about what was really popular, which was uh, direct to consumer. And between his passion of meat, and my passion of meat, um, we, we really hit, hit it off from the beginning and launched a subscription box company uh, and, and a gift box company, uh, something that we don't see much on the marketplace for. Um, and it's been great. We just launched it. Uh, and uh, I'll tell you, um, one of the hardest working people I've, I've ever met um, besides someone in, in, in our company, because you know the media industry is a very difficult and laborious um, job, and uh, Jay fits right into that. It, it's, it's, a, it's a natural for he. Um, he has this yearning for um, learning more and more about meat and, and, and becoming a butcher himself and cutting meat. Um, and we thought, you know, together, that we could, um, you know, really provide and offer something that the marketplace doesn't have, other than, you know, the the traditional uh, b uh, subscription box meat packages and offerings that really became more popular during the pand pandemic because of the pandemic. Uh, what we got to see there is that, uh, especially when there was a fear of uh, meat supply. And I was on the show explaining that there wasn't going to be a shortage of meat, which there wasn't uh, in the long run. Um, there was a bit of a labor shortage, however. Yeah. But every order that was sent into our company, direct to consumer or, you know, for the few restaurants that were open or to retail outlets, we fulfilled every order. I mean, we were under presidential mandate since March 16th of 2020. Right. And, sure. and we haven't closed a day since. Pat, you mentioned the labor shortage, or, and I want to ask you about that because you, as an owner of your business, have you experienced, have you had any trouble attracting the workers that you need in order to grow your business and expand at a time that you're doing this? I myself have not. Um, we really feel blessed. I feel blessed that that um, I, I have uh, a very loyal team. And, you know, it, it goes, uh, you know, a lot of, m many companies like to, um, like to um, tell that they have like one big family, but this is really one big family and I haven't had that problem. But almost every business owner that I speak to does have a problem in, in getting their labor to return. And I don't blame uh, those staff members. I mean, if, if you're paid the same to stay home, then to go to work, uh, you know, yeah, you might want to take that family time. You know, um, my only um, peril that I that I see for the, you know, that that workforce is that I still think there's unemployment is going to be very high in the next two years. When it's time that you know that extra stimulus money runs out, that extra unemployment money runs out, you may not have a job waiting for you when you return. So for me, it's maybe two or three percent of our workforce. Uh, at our company, but I would say it's a good 25 or or uh, to 40 percent of, of of the labor force really is not existent. Now is the time. Um, if you weren't happy with your job, if you wanted something better, if you wanted um, uh, some sort of a promotion, this is the time to be at work and to capitalize Pat? on that. Um you're talking to some meat lovers right now, and I'm on the website getting very hungry, although dinner is still three, four hours away. Uh, so the, the gift box that we're talking about, the greatest gift box ever, $175, what's in it? Describe the cuts that are in it. And and again, you are talking to someone who does enjoy beef. Well, um, f first and foremost, uh, th that's going to change. Uh, so the gift box is gonna be something that uh, Jay and I are gonna pick cuts that that change and what we're excited to offer next 
is a tomahawk steak that has uh, an individual an individualized customized message that's engraved into the bone which we think is very special and and something that is not uh, offered um, anywhere in the market um, and and it's it, within the gift box you know fillets porterhouses um, our family uh, sweet Italian and hot Italian sausage um, but more importantly unlike what you'll see uh, in any gift box of meat or any sub box of meat all of our products are domestic you know they're raised and grazed in the United States and it's the, the product comes to you fresh so when you order it it's processed that night and then shipped out the next day overnight so you're getting product that's never been frozen before um, which is probably a first uh, ex time experience so for a gift box to be able to give something that's uh, customized and right uh, you know that that's special um, in 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 me it's something we, that, that we really is not available uh, on the we're talking a lot about with our guests these days that people don't want to buy things they want experiences and what what better experience could you have than getting the family together for a barbecue with those really they look delicious cuts of beef thank you so much and congratulations on the new venture